Good morning, dudes. I'm up here at Craftsbury Outdoor Center for the VT one day. Uh, I'm not feeling too good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ride around and pretend to race and, uh, and film some stuff and talk to people about their bike races. I'm out of breath walking up the hill from the lake. Is that bad? Breakfast is always exciting here at Craftsbury Outdoor Center. Right, breakfast was amazing as usual. Now it's somehow an hour to go till race start and uh, I gotta go get my number, get suited up. Should be fine. I'm just gonna start wicked slow so I don't barf up biscuits and gravy. Here goes the real bike races, doing the warm up on the road. <laughs> is that yours? Yeah. It's gone. I, was, I was filming it because it looks like a fast single speed. The bike is. <laughs> you definitely win the fashion contest already. I got it. It's done. Thing, yeah, so. It's done. Here a couple of legitimately fast people. We got Nick Lando and Cooper Wilsey. Not beating them. Dude. Good morning. What's going on? How are you? <laughs> What's going on? Tom Parsons. Can I borrow that bike? Yeah. yeah. This, this is one of these that bikes the bike? that, that I do, that you ride, and within 10 seconds you're like, oh, I see how somebody could hate bikes. I'm way too full of food to think about racing. Just had a uh, Georgia cold sighting. Wicked fast people here. What? Look at all these fast oh, people. Oh, fast <laughs> people everywhere. This is what happens in Vermont. <laughs> Just and more fast people. Oh, oh, <laughs> sick, bro. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shaka. <laughs> We're taking these down to the lake after the race. Oh nice. We're paddling dude. out, yeah. <laughs> you probably get one of the rower kids to pull you fast enough to wakeboard. Wake, wake, wake so bad. <laughs> Have you seen some of these kids? They're monsters. Yeah. I haven't decided if I'm doing 15 or 30 yet, but uh, I was asking if I could actually have both numbers and then just do like a tear off. I was like, no, nah, that's it, I'm 15. I come across the line with the 15 number. Got separate numbers for 15 and 30. Two laps versus one lap. This is what I'm wearing here. There's a saying in racing, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And I don't really race, so I don't really think about that. But uh, what I do think about is when I'm prepping gear, whether it's camera or bike gear, there's no point in rushing because you're just going to do stuff twice. So I just try to calm down and, and uh, realize I'm not really going to save any time by rushing while prepping. So slow, smooth, smooth, fast while going through your massive pile of bike clothing, deciding what to wear. All right, so I'm such a bad bike racer at this point. I don't have any gels, anything like that. I've forgot any kind of uh, electrolyte beverage. So I got water. I'm running a freaking hip pack. And because uh, I don't have pockets, because I don't have a freaking micro jersey. <laughs> so, uh, and then uh, I'm just gonna open this, pre open this cliff back, dude, and break it up into pieces and hopefully remember to eat that uh, somewhere towards the end of the first lap. So I have energy for the second lap. I think I got enough biscuits and gravy in me for the first lap. And then some. <laughs> it's gonna have to serve as my warm up, just the uh, neurotically riding to and from the car, checking my tire pressure. How you doing? Uh, yeah. What gear are you running? Uh, way too late, like 34, 21. 34, 21. Yeah, okay. I, I was... I'm literally gonna go warm up on the pump track. Gotta back off a little. There's biscuits and gravy backing up on me. I thought of a name for a hippie jam band. Biscuits and groovy. I'm gonna Google that because I know it already exists. Has to. So stupid. Save so much time on the D-line. <laughs> I like the rock line. Yeah. 
That's all I got. <laughs> Give me like 50 more of those, I actually do okay in a race. Just thought I'm doing my own personal grind duro or whatever. I'm basically, or mixtape, the rock hard racing's race where only the trail parts count. Everything else is like a transition. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna transition to the next single track stage on this gravel. very hard right here. yeah so really suffering with the amount and type of breakfast if you were actually a bike racer which at one point i kind of was you want to eat three hours out and you don't want to eat biscuits and gravy period uh at least i wouldn't oh jeez <laughs> Pass. You got a chance, but whatever. Oh shit! Oh god! I don't know the line. Okay, thank you. That's why I'm so slow, the rubbing brake. Yeah. That's why I can't go up hills. Yeah. <laughs> this is not my favorite part. I literally just got passed by an 11 year old with flat pedals. I'll feel better once I throw up. Oh shoot. Okay, next lap. Oh God. Hey. Hey. That's not a move for today. <laughs> Actually pretty technical. The last section was so slow. Like that was average like five miles an hour. So thank you for the gravel. Cause jeez, I need a break. Still like hobbit shack. Let's jump in. Ooh, that's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh god. This is actually really fun. Just going wide open, no brakes on this Nordic Trail. Probably 25 miles an hour. My chest strap, GoPro chest strap harness is chafing my neck, and just trying to think of. Ross Edgley in the Great British Swim when he swam all the way around Britain, you know, almost 2,000 miles in five months, 12 hours a day. It's a nut, but that's all on, like Red Bull has it all on YouTube. Very cool. But uh, he got this thing called rhino neck from his wetsuit where it chafed his neck just a couple days in. He said one day he was swimming and all he could think was, someone had told me he had to swim angry, like chase his demons and all this stuff. I think it was a family getting attacked by wolves or something to motivate and he's like, He's like, yes, but I can't swim angry. All I was thinking all day is grab an apple, put it in your pocket, which you know, kind of describes the swimming stroke done properly. Uh, so I gotta get some mental game going where I can keep some pressure on on this really boring to me stuff. So I don't just get caught. I need the bicycle equipment of grab an apple, put it in my pocket. I'll think, I'll try to think of that. I've seen anyone for a while. I saw an old man, older than me, I think he's probably 80, and a little girl who's probably, I don't know, maybe eight, seven, I don't know, 
They were about five minutes ahead of me. Uh, over 20 miles in. I think, I don't have computers. I don't even watch. This gravel road section seems longer than it did last lap. Finally thought of uh, the cycling equivalent of grab an apple, put it in your pocket, sort of. It was, well, all I got is step it with an apple, put it in your butt. So you kind of step on the apple and then kind of scrape it up. You get a good upstroke on your pedal stroke. Like you were gonna bring your foot to your butt and put an apple in your butt. I think that makes sense. It does to me right now. Nice job, dude. Nice job. Nice work, man. How's it going? How long do you think it takes to do that section? 15 uh, minutes, 10? Yeah, 15. Okay. That's demoralizing. I'm literally stopping to let air out again. Wow, it's a, re it's a really brush cut section. There's some really naked roots. Naked root, I think they played with uh, biscuits and groovy one time. Pretty much about to pee in my pants, but uh, just theory I've heard of called reabsorption, where your body just reabsorbs the pee, which I don't know if that really works. <laughs> like, is it kind of polluted? Can you really go back in your body? Uh, but what I have experienced is peeing in my pants during a race when I actually cared, but there's no way I'm peeing my pants today. I'm gonna stop if I have to pee. Peeing is for podiums. You're not gonna finish on the podium. You can, you can stop and pee. Right. Do it. Ah! <laughs> ah, so cool. In total hobbit land. Totally just had to stop to pee. I mean, you know, sure he does that all the time. He just stops in the middle of the World Cup, takes a leak, it's totally normal. And sometimes in the middle of the race, we make the peepees. I don't know what happened to the guys behind me, but uh, I'm gonna start screwing around and riding skinnies. Oh. There. Oh man, I just saved so much time. Getting towards the end of this awesome little section. It's very hard. Finishing on some flow though. Back to the road. And that's kind of, I mean, the home stretch is a very bumpy, very hard home stretch. Not a home stretch. Now we get this nice buff flowy section before the really ridiculously slow, fruity technical section at the end. Just looking forward to this part. Trying to save energy. Whoa, look at that. You can tile snake. Basilisk. From right there, I kind of didn't want to finish, but uh, I get to that point where it's like, yeah, it's stupid not to. Oh, that's why it's nuts. Yeah, you kind of, you really want to be on that bridge. All right, this is the last section of the single track. I know it. Yeah, this is the long last bridge. Oh. Finish, no lap. <laughs> oh my God, I did not want to finish that lap. Wow, brutal. All right, how'd it go for the fast kids? Mm, it was okay, I'm sorry I'm eating, but um, yeah, I am. I uh, went the wrong way on the first lap, crashed also on the first lap and flatted on the second one. But it was fun. Right, what happened to you out there? Uh, it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it was super hard, super climbing. Yeah, it hurt a lot. Hi, Georgia Gold. Yeah, so, <laughs> how you doing? What are you doing yeah. here at VT1? What? You guys I'm, moved here, huh? We moved here. I live uh, here. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm kind of working, kind of racing. Yeah. And I should have just been working, and yeah. not racing. Yeah. I was a lot too ambitious at the start. <laughs> My racing mind is 
different than my racing legs currently. So yeah. it was awesome. It was really fun, especially that new section kind of at the end. Mm -hmm. On the first lap, on the second lap, I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> That's Sam. That's an amazing hat. Oh, you like it? That's nice. It's pretty nice. What, what happened up in Fast People Land um, today? Coop went ham from the go, and uh, and then it was me, Jake, Nick, and Ben as a group. Jake crashed and flatted, and then at, at the end of the first lap, uh, Nick flatted. So then it was just Ben and I, and Ben and I were kind of duking it out on the last lap, uh, trying to catch Coop but we couldn't make that happen. Ryan, you, you won the thing? I won the thing. <laughs> that's, actually, that's a sweet hat too. I, kinda, I have like 50 hats, but I kind of want that hat. This too. is a sweet hat. Yeah, yeah. They have my bike express. All right, so, so you, just, you shot out of Canada at the start? Yeah, yeah, we hit the first single track section. I kind of rode to the front and uh, attacked a few times and got a gap on the downhill actually. It's pretty slick out there. So I was pushing it on the descent. Got a gap halfway through the first lap and just laid it on thick. <laughs> Top single speed man, Mike Lowe from Linden Institute. Mike is winning a cookie that is approximately the size of his face. Thank My pleasure. Guys. Yeah, man. Um, our top junior from Bike Express Racing, Carson Beard. And Carson finished fifth overall, um, followed closely, I believe, by his brother. Um, in second place, Sam Knoll from Competitive Edge Racing. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Congrats, so Sam's gonna win some bread. Sweet. And then you can take your print. Cool. And then in first place, Bike Express, Cooper Wilsey. So Cooper's gonna get kale, basil, pesto, and you can take a print. Uh, in third place, and also our top junior from Craftsbury Nordic Ski Club, not Dartmouth College, Callie Young. I think Jack is gonna really need this. Thank so, and then you. you get to take a print too. Thank you. Uh, in first place, and this is pretty cool, we've got Local now legend Georgia Gould. So thanks for coming out and making our race look legit, Georgia. Yeah? yeah. This one's bigger than your head. There you go. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Well, thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, sounds like it was a, a long day. I really appreciate just seeing people out and having fun on bikes. Come back again next year. It might be the VT30, it might be the VT3. We'll, uh, we'll see. It is actually amazing how slow I was. Oh my God, that was so hard. <laughs> Here, grab some lunch and then jump in the pond. Maybe we'll talk more later. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Right. Um, cool. Pear, blue cheese, nice. walnut creamy, praline. Cool. All right. Um, all right, yeah, so that was VT1, or VT1 day at uh, Craftsbury Outdoor Center. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.